This is the Hoosier Writing Project Digital Workshop on Prezi at www.prezi.com. What is Prezi? Prezi is a free online presentation tool, um, very similar to PowerPoint, but with some big differences. Uh, it creates visually stimulating and exciting presentations. Where PowerPoints are very static and you just move from slide to slide, um, Prezi actually makes presentations that zoom in and out and move around on the screen. These are two examples of Prezi's that you're seeing in the video. So what can you do with Prezi? You can create presentations that really grab your audience's attention and keeps that attention with zooming, shifting, visually organized slides. You can start with a big picture and then zoom in to each piece that you want to talk about. It can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be, but you really do have a way of grabbing your audience and keeping their attention with all of the movement. What media can be used for presentations? Prezi is pretty versatile. You can use text, images, videos. Uh, you can use graphics or charts, maps, documents. You can even upload entire PowerPoint presentations. So if you want to enhance your PowerPoint presentations by using Prezi, it'll upload your PowerPoint presentations to make it simpler for you to do. Um, the stackable layers create visual organization, uh, like the titles of the videos that can be inside graphics. How do you communicate? Uh, you can publish the URL and send it. There is a comment feature on the Prezi. You can collaborate with other people. You send them an email invitation. Uh, you can copy Prezi's from one account to another. Any Prezi that's made public is available to be copied. And so you can copy it and then work on it, give it back to the person, or send it back to the person. Um, and you can present it on a projector. So technology is a tool. It matters how we use it. What can students do with, with Prezi? Students can brainstorm ideas. They can do that alone, or they could do it collaboratively. Um, Prezi offers a really great space for just throwing ideas on to a canvas and then moving them around and organizing them later. Um, Prezi is easy to organize, and you can move the frames very easily. So you can get collections of texts and images and other media pieces and then organize them after you get them all put on there. Uh, you can show rough drafts for peer editing comments. Um, these would be rough drafts not so much for papers, um, although you could use it for papers, but for like graphic design things or if you're making a book cover or um, if you have different pieces of something that you want to share um, or a project, that would be a good for peer editing comments. Um, you can collaborate with other students or students can collaborate with other students on research projects. They can practice visual design skills for effectiveness. Uh, they can present research in information or persuasive presentations. And students can also craft presentations for a specific audience. Some of the benefits of Prezi. There are many templates available, which makes it very easy to make new creations. It's easy to upload all of the different media types. Um, Prezi enhances the visual presentation features. Um, it's something different. When I did a Prezi for the balance calendar for um, the superintendent at our school, in our school district, um, the thing she was most impressed with was that it wasn't a PowerPoint. It was a Prezi. It was something different and new. Um, it, Prezi creates a pathway for the slide order frame by frame. So you can see what each movement of each frame will look like in a little pathway down the side. Prezi also engages the audience with zooming slides and interesting designs. It keeps the presentation moving. The collaborative features for multiple creators make it very easy to work together, and it's easy to share with the world via the URL. So here are three ways that you can use Prezi for your students. Um, you can present information to students. You can do it as a writing workshop for organizing essays. And then um, students can do presentations or prepare portfolios.